Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episode four of Otaku Elf. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that one girl is coming. Okay. That water is so pretty. I mean, of course, she ain't gonna leave the house. I want her bag. I've been saying this since episode one. I want her bag. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> you poor thing. What happened? Ma'am, she's old. How did you lose Himawari? Were, were you walking around? Of course, you got distracted by food. one of them. Uh, of course. Of course she was the one who disappeared. She got distracted by food. The smell of food. 
weakness. That's a cute name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mm. Why do we do this like it's a freaking Tekken match? <laughs> oh my god. Girl, she hasn't even traveled outside of the city. She only will travel within the city. What is that? Okay, basically a battle. Like tic tac toe. This is just tic tac toe. Yeah. Oh, my God. Right. Well, yeah, it, it's obvious what it is. Girl, that's a lie. Mm hmm Excuse me? With these lies, oh my god. <laughs>
Six hundred and twenty two. So you want the drinking age, babe? Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, but of course, they would always make the taller one, the youngest one, and the shorter one, the shorter one, the older one. You going on tour? Oh uh, no, you're going on a concert. Yeah. Ah. That's the real reason. Damn. That's messed up. <laughs> I'm thinking they was gonna be here for a couple of days. Mm. Right? Course. That's like me today when I did five, count them five notary signatures back to back. Bruh, no, not the greatest feeling. Did you just sneeze? Uh oh. <sighs> Oh. 
Oh, this is simple? Alright. Thank God it ain't COVID. Or swine flu or anything else. It wouldn't surprise me. Just a needle. You'll be fine. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Hurry. <laughs> be like that one thing. Take the shot, Mickey. Right. She's even prettier as an older adult. I mean, damn. It's okay. She's like, you know, because she was a kid, she couldn't hurt me. <laughs> oh. Damn, so like you literally could not change like what else you wanted to do as a career. Seeing her say chicks reminds me of when I was sick and the hell that was. Already? What's wrong? You want some hot tea? Or you want some water? <laughs> right, let me know if you need anything else. even out the door and once again <laughs> I'm sorry oh my god right poor babies <laughs> she would! Fine. 
Hey, she deserved it. She's sick. Oh, no. It's the one time when, you know, Koito should call. <laughs> you know, bam, sister coming in. The lifeline coming in. Oh. She's still going to mess this up. The difference between the first timer and the professional. <laughs> Good. Mm. Let's see. All done. All done. No. Oh my god. I'm thinking she made her porridge as well. <laughs> oh, it, it was... <laughs> uh, um, yeah, it might taste good. You know, rice porridge. <laughs> god, what... Oh, 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 it's over. Oh, do but eats. I see nothing beats a home cooked meal. Thank God I just recently went to Publix. I was just like, I, no, because when I got off of work, I was extremely hungry. Like, I did not eat. I had to immediately wake up, get dressed, go to work, be there for three, technically really four hours, and then get stuff done and such. And then I come out and I'm like, all right, I'm hungry because I was going to go to my favorite, like, store that I, did, well, restaurant that is next door to my store where I work at, right? And I was just going to order what I normally order. Plus, I had, like, a free sandwich thing where, you know, buy one, take one and stuff. Or buy one, get one, whatever. I was going to do that. But we were super busy and didn't really have the time. So, I was like, okay, I get, I'll do it another day. But I only have until the 12th of next month. So, if I forget, I'm screwed. But, yeah, literally, that just made me hungry. But I can't really eat just yet. I got one more thing to watch. <laughs> but it was cute. Hiddle Mimi is adorable, <laughs> but I can see <laughs> why. <laughs> okay, her partner is, is like a certain type of way where she lies to her about like a lot of things. I get it because <laughs> she doesn't want to make her cry. I don't think anybody <laughs> as her Miko would want to make her cry because she seems so sensitive. So if you just say anything wrong, she just starts crying. I don't know why they would be like, damn, I can't say anything that hurt her feelings. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, hey, she a crybaby. But you never know, she could be a crybaby. But, I mean, that's not her. Um, 
the, the pork buns are so good. I mean, just you see, this is why one day I'm going, mm -hmm, I'm saving all my fucking money and I'm just going to go. I'm going to Japan because, uh, you know, it's worse. Like, I, I hate watching some people's videos of people going to Japan and they go into 7-Eleven and they get that damn pizza bun and it looks so good. And I'm just like, I'm here with my regular ass at McDonald's and I'm like, I want that. Even when I eat regular McDonald's, I want Japanese McDonald's because it looks better when they show it. Like somebody had like a, I think it was a, what was a, a teriyaki chicken uh, burger. And then the other one was like another teriyaki chicken, but it was, instead of it being chicken, I mean, I said teriyaki chicken, um, a teriyaki burger with egg. And I'm like, that looks good. That looks so much better than my two cheeseburger meal or my quarter pound, my, yeah, my quarter pounder of bacon. That looks so much better. I don't want this. I want that. Like, oh my God, that looks so freaking good. That's what I want right now. Like, yes. But no, I live all the way over here and I have to fly all the way over there just to get it. If, if I was that rich enough and I had enough money, I would literally be like, hey, hey, yo, I would tell my assistant or <laughs> whoever, be like, hey, can you fly to Japan and go get it? <laughs> but then it's a, thir it's a 13 hour flight. So, you know, by the time it come back to you, that thing is gonna be cold. <laughs> so I would cry. That's the same thing if like, if I was in Japan and I was craving like a quarter pounder, bruh. <laughs> I wish I had that money like that, but then at the same time, I would literally like go 13 hours just to go get me some McDonald's. That are like the um, I think it's the Wendy's uh first kitchen in Japan. Once again, Japan just makes everything else like any type of food here in America look so like uh, compare like oh god, Japan Japanese food just makes our food look like shit. <laughs> I'm being honest on like that because I'm like bro. Look at that, and then look at what we have. Like, I don't want that. <laughs> I hope we get to see more of them because I was expecting this whole episode to pretty much be about these two, especially with how last week ended. I didn't think, you know, the first half of the episode was literally going to be them visiting, and then that's it. And then they're like, oh, we're only here because we're going to a concert tonight. But, like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> crazy though but other than that guys that is my reaction to towards episode 4 of Otaku Elf if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every time I join the Magic Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 5 bye guys